Welcome to the Workplace Minute, powered by H3HR Advisors and sponsored by Paychex, one of the leading providers of HR, payroll, retirement, and software solutions for businesses of all sizes. My name is Steve Bose. With better technology and improved access, more workers expect on-demand pay. Consumers have embraced on-demand entertainment streaming, same-day delivery, and now more workers are ready to adopt on-demand compensation from their employers. The biweekly paycheck is on the cusp of disruption in the U.S., despite the reluctance of some employers and skeptical financial regulators. Called Earned Wage Access, or EWA, these on-demand pay programs allow employees to collect their pay at the end of each workday. Many major corporations have already started offering in-house EWA programs for their employees, and the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau announced last month that it would be issuing federal guidance on EWA soon. Increasing momentum around EWA is an encouraging sign for its proponents, who say that these programs could help scores of Americans who run out of money before the end of the standard two-week pay period in covering daily expenses such as food, gas, and utility bills. Most large national payroll technology providers already offer versions of on-demand pay, making the capability available to their thousands of customers and millions of employees. But to reach more widespread adoption in the U.S., regulators want to be assured that EWA is different from payday lending and that EWA is a tool to help Americans get out of debt and not the other way around. EWA and payday loans do exhibit differences, Many EWA providers don't charge interest to employees who collect pay early from an employer, but make money from their contracts with the businesses, like how outsourced payroll service providers operate. But some companies that brand themselves as EWA providers, such as Money Lion and Earn In, charge optional consumer fees for the service, and these fees have drawn criticism and comparisons to payday lenders. Despite these concerns, recent surveys show that 76% of American employees want to be able to collect their wages daily, even as some consumer lending regulations are working against EWA programs, even if they don't charge interest. As household debt levels remain elevated, zero-interest EWA programs could provide relief for the more than 60% of Americans who live paycheck to paycheck. EWA gives employees a way to access compensation as soon as they've earned it, rather than having to wait multiple weeks for payday or shoulder interest on short-term loans or credit card bills. Many payroll providers support EWA by giving employees the option to redeem payroll deposits at the end of every workday. Employees with access to these types of plans don't pay any fees or interest to use the service. More than 70% of Americans get paid every two weeks or weekly, according to the BLS. And EWA advocates argue that getting paid daily isn't just a useful benefit, It should be an employee's right, and it isn't fair that workers should have to wait weeks to be compensated for their work. Proponents also argue that these programs should be regulated at the federal level in the U.S., simplifying the sometimes contradictory positions that individual states have taken on these issues. The current regulatory environment may be creating some competitive advantages from state to state, because in one state, employees will have the luxury of the benefit, but in another state, they might not. With such a high percentage of employees indicated desire to have on-demand access to their compensation, and with more and more payroll technology providers supporting these programs, it does seem likely that regulations will soon be harmonized and clarified, making on-demand pay and EWA the norm in America rather than the exception. And then perhaps the bi-weekly payroll run will become a relic of the past. We'll continue to monitor and report on this important issue here on the HR Happy Hour Media Network. That's it for the Workplace Minute, powered by H3HR Advisors.